I'm going to teach you about investing with options. I was going to do Bitcoin, but it's going to have to last a minute. We're going to go over that at the end using leverage. Who knows what leverage is? Raise your hand. Who's the biggest dude here? There's nobody, so I'm going to pick the biggest dude. Come here, big dude. Come here. Uh oh. Okay. I'm going to teach you leverage. Hurry up, hurry up, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Now, one more. Nobody knows what leverage is? You look pretty yeah, big, too. I said, I said I mean, you know what leverage is? Come up. Hurry up, hurry up. Come up. Hey, do you mean like all this? Like, leverage. Financial <laughs> leverage. Financial leverage. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah. Aren't okay. you guys coming? <laughs> Stop. You need so, to know his birthday. What's leverage? Okay, now everybody in the audience has to be absolutely quiet. Okay? What's leverage? Oh, um, leverage is using your money to. Um, I actually forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nobody knows what leverage is? We all, we all should know. You all should know. So I'm going to talk one more time and I'm going to move on. Wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Leverage is what? Using your money, money to get max return. return. That's not leverage. That's what we learned. 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 Okay. But like in the physical sense, leverage is having an advantage over someone. Okay. So. Leverage is, leverage is taking a small amount of capital, listen up, a small amount of money, and moving a large amount of money with it. That's what leverage is. It, the term came from the physics term, where you have a fulcrum and you have a lever. A lever. And if you put this here, right, you can literally do it like this. You can put a small weight here and lift a big weight. Leverage. So you can take a small amount of money, you use, lose, move a big amount of money with it. So this big dude here, right? I'm also a martial artist too. Oh God. Thirty years, you know, New York State champion, looking team, and all that. Right? You're gonna take this hand, make a fist. Okay. You punch my hand. I want everybody to see it now. Okay? Punch my hand. You punch your heart. Okay. Do it again so everybody can see it. Okay? Punch my hand. Punch your heart. Uh, okay. Okay. Now you saw that? He's punching my hand. What did he use to punch my hand? Do it again. Do it again. Okay? He's punching my hand with his arms. Okay? I'm going to punch him the same way using leverage. He did this. Okay? Look at me do it. Look at me. Ready? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look. Right? This is him. This is me. Ooh. What's the difference? One more time. This is a big dude. Or even hard. This is me. Ooh. What's the difference? You're using more. Wait, raise your hand. I know. You didn't know. You had your chance. Raise your hand. Sit down. What's the difference, dude? Hurry up. Um, wait, wait, stop, no, no, stop, no, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, stop, no, no, no. Um, it's something called vocal noise. Um means nothing, and it means you don't know what you're trying to say. So to solve that problem, slow down, and let your uh, brain catch up with your mouth. Try it again without the um. So you see, I'm a physical dude, right? Every time someone gives me vocal noise, you do three budgets, girls and boys. Or you can pay me money to distribute in the class. We have a question. We quiz everybody who, and anybody who learned what we did gets a whole pot. Which would you rather do? I think we do push ups. You rather do the push ups? Push -ups. Money yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can do it with the money. <laughs> okay, so, what's the difference? Um. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. Push ups or money. You gotta move forward. You said, um. Three push ups. Money or push ups? Do the push ups. Hold on, hold on. Three push ups. Push -ups. Yeah. Okay, anybody know what the difference is? Raise your hand. Between what? Between what? You said. Between. Oh, you call those push ups, dude? I'm going to get to you later, okay? Oh, this. Perfect. What? And this. What's the difference? <laughs> he so much. Okay, what's the difference? The, the oh. difference is when he punched, he just used his arm. You used your whole body. Right. I used everything. Right? Who do you think will hit harder? The guy that does this or the guy that does that? Oh. Understand what I mean? Who do you, which one do you think hits harder? All right? Which one do you think hits harder? Tell me. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah. Why? You everything you had. Okay, so let's take this from the physical, you alright? Yeah. We're gonna take this from the physical <laughs> into the financial. Okay? So I take out 
some money. Oh. We're gonna invest oh. twenty dollars. You wanna hold it? Come here. Oh. 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 I'm, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, you can sit down. I'm gonna take care of this. Yeah. <laughs> come on, hurry up. You got okay. Oh. Come on. Okay, sit down. Don't mind me. I ain't gonna talk. Okay, I'll hit you next. Okay. So he has this twenty. He's gonna invest that twenty in cash. Cash is like what he did with the plunge. Okay. I'm gonna take another twenty, but I'm gonna invest my twenty in leverage. Okay. Anything worth about twenty dollars in here? See that calculator? Okay, so we're going to bid on that calculator. This is worth more than $20. Okay, we're going to bid on the calculator, right? No, not the right store. Look, $20, he's paying cash. I'm using leverage or margin. That means I'm going to take this $20 and I'm going to use it as collateral to borrow $20 from five other people. So I will have $120, but I control it with just a $20 bill. He has $20. You both go up to her. He wants to buy the calculator for how much? In cash, I'm gonna pay you 120. But I only have 20 in cash, so you get 120 dollars. Who did you sell it to quickly? Okay, if you have to think, that's a problem. That's, that's <laughs> you don't have your phone. I have, I have 120 dollars, I'll give it to you. I'll give you 120 right now. But he has 20. I mean, I'll give you 120 or 20. Which would you want? 120. Okay. See how easy that was? Mm -hmm. Now, nah. I give you 120 dollars for this. Let's pretend that's 120. Okay, don't lose that now. I bought the calculator, $120, okay? Suppose the calculator went down just 10% in price. What's 10% of, a, if it's $120 and it dropped in price 10%, what's this calculator trading at right now? I can't do it. You don't need a calculator. Thank you, okay? 108, okay? I'm just kidding. Now, 120 minus 108 is? Wow. wow! 120 minus 108. You did a good job the first question. You slipped it on the second one. Okay. How much is it? 12. Okay. If you paid $20 for it, how much would you have lost? What? Hmm? How much would you have lost? Huh? 20 minus 12. You could pay. Am I confusing you? Okay. Am I confusing you? If you understand what I mean, raise your hand. We started off with 120 and then we went Okay, I'm, I'm confusing you. Raise your hand. Okay, we're going to do it this way. I get this. I bought, I paid $120 for this. Right? Yeah. It goes down, it, this goes down in price 50%. Okay? 50%. How much did it go down in price? $60. Okay? I paid $120 for it. You would have paid $20 for it. I use leverage. So I started with 20, I borrowed 100 more, and I have 120. He was gonna pay cash for 20. If it goes down 50% in price, how much did he lose? If it goes down 50% in price, and I have $20 in cash, and I borrowed 100, how much do I lose? Who says nothing? Okay, tell me, how much do I lose? How much do I lose? Push up the cash, how you want to do it? You can't use my money. Uh, I'm not putting up a vocal noise, so you. She said, huh? I heard her, huh? Did you say huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, do, I'll do push up, but I can't do push up down at that point. Okay, so it's cash then. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, how much do I lose? If it goes down 50%, how much do I lose? But then you borrowed money, that's so I'm confused. And, well, yeah. tell me how it works out then. I want you to use your brains, because we've got to move well, forward. Use your brains. Right? right. Then but how much cash did I actually have? 20. 20. 20. 10. You lost I lost how much? 10. Now walk through the math for me. Look at this. Right? 120. I have $20 in cash. It drops 50%. So I lose $60. So a dude that has $20, it lose $60. How much does he give you lose? What? You see the twenty dollars bill? Hold it up. Okay. One hundred and twenty dollars. It drops fifty percent. Right there, so everybody can see it. Fifty. Fifty percent. Minus. Yeah, that's the new one. Okay. What percentage of my twenty dollars is that sixty percent? Okay. So, how much did I lose? Nothing. 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 Okay. Let me get the 20 back. Oh, Where's my turn? Let me get the 20 back. Yeah. Do you have any money in your pocket? Do you have any money in your pocket? Just for demonstration. Uh -oh.
Is it dollars? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not even going to count this. I'm not going to count it. All right. Okay. So he says, if I take 300% of his money, he loses nothing, right? So you wouldn't miss this. Okay. You sit down. Say, it's already done now. You lost 300% of your money. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't lose it's already done now. Brother, money. you said, if I lose 300% of my money, I lose nothing. No, so I'm taking 100% of your money now, I meant, and you go home and give me 200% of your money. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. I just know what he's <laughs> no, saying, actually. I didn't mean you lost 100%. I mean you gave me 100%. Okay, so if I take 300% of your money, you gain 300%. <laughs> no. So no matter which way you look at it. What are you talking about? So I'm asking. You had $20. Uh-huh. Right? Oh, okay. Listen, listen. Right, right. And then you said at the end, how much did I lose? It right. was 60 right here. Right. Right? And you started off with 20. Right. You go up times three. You lose $60 from 20. I didn't. I, one more time. Here, let's start with $1. Okay? Yes. You have $1. Yes. Okay? You lose 300% of that $1. Yes. How much money did you make? No. How much is in your hand right now? Nothing. So, how much did you make? Okay, that's the answer. If you lose 300% of anything, at the most you have is nothing. You're actually negative 200%. So, I take this, if you lose 300% of that, I take that, you owe me 200%. Does anybody not understand this? Raise your hand. Okay, I understand it's you. Anybody else not understand it? Seriously, because I want to I wanna move forward, but you have to understand this concept. Everybody understands it? Yes. Prove it to you. I want you to explain it in detail to him. Yes. Oh, no. Stand up, please. Speak up because I'm on limited time because I was late. So. Well, you said you wouldn't mind losing this, so I don't have to get it back. <laughs> I mean, he said it. <laughs> explain it using the same dollar concept? Use any concept you're comfortable with. I would rather you only have about 60 seconds. Go ahead. Write it on the board. Write large so everybody can participate. Go ahead. Okay. Say, for example, you have dollar and you lose 300 percent of that what is that no no i understand that this is that you said you got 120 like all together and you lost 60 which you didn't really have the money right you had 20 dollars to start over with. right and you, you ended up with 60. exactly you still so, have to pay those people back because they borrowed the money so right. still lose do you understand that does everybody here understand that concept Okay, it's very important you understand. Now, this is what makes leverage interesting. Okay, to go back to the physical example. Okay, <laughs> he said it doesn't. He did, did the brother not say it didn't matter? Did he not say it didn't matter? But, but, but for demonstration, I didn't mind losing 300 okay, So I'm demonstrating what happens when you don't mind losing but money. Right? Okay, so, okay. I thought it was the way you pocket. Now, I explained the positive, that's the negative of leverage. And the positive, the positive of leverage is if I bought $120 worth of something and I only use $20 of my own money and it went up in price 100%, I made like a 2,000% return, okay? That's good. So when things go your way, they go your way very well. When things don't go your way, they go against you very, very badly. To give an example now, were you counting because you don't trust me? Huh? <laughs> did he no, not trust I was me? putting it back in my thing. To give you an example, I want you to do the punch like he did. Okay, okay. punch my hand. Okay, do it again. Do it like you mean it. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay, no, go ahead, do it again. More, that was more than that. Do it again. <laughs> okay, he oh. missed. Do it again. He missed oh. again. Oh. One more time. Uppercut. When he misses, he misses, but he's able to get his hand back. Right? Think about that as a cash punch. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a leverage punch. Right? Oh, I missed it. I'm all out the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real You know why that happened? You know why that happened? <laughs> Why'd that happen? Tragic. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Why'd it happen? You use all your money. You use all your money. Not quite. No. What happened? You use everything you have. Because you're taking a huge chance and like when you when you Oh, 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 oh. listen. Go ahead. When you when you're using leverage, you're taking a huge chance and if it if you miss or something happens, you not only lose everything, but you have to pay the people back. So you're you're like losing more money. That's the concept. That's it in a nutshell. If I would have did this, right, and I missed, I would have came over. But I came back, came running through, through the punch, 
split, man, split all the way down the hall, everybody laughed when you flipped over the chair. And I did that without moving. Huh? You did that without moving. Okay. So, now you understand I gave you a, phys a physical example of the difference between cash and leverage, and I gave you a financial example. Okay? Now, in order to get leverage, usually you have to borrow money from somebody. I'm going to teach you how to access leverage without borrowing money. You just buy something, and leverage is built in. Okay, does anybody know a way to do that? Using stock markets and bond markets and brokerages? Bitcoin. Anybody know? Oh, Bitcoin. Options. 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 Okay. Options are a way where you can access leverage without having to borrow money. The reason is, mathematically, they're put together to give you leverage. 